Quen, quen, quen. Just yesterday, when I was covering the Hanjuan's new model, I was saying that surprisingly, there was no new model from Alibaba's Quen team. And today, we have a new image generation editing segmentation model from Alibaba Apache 2 license, free open weights, open source with all the bells and whistles out there. And in this video, we are going to install it locally and we are going to test it out. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel as that helps a lot. If this is the first time you are hearing about Quen, we have been covering Quen models, especially the Quen 3 family for a long time. And for long time, I mean around a month in terms of Quen 3 and this model has broken almost all the records. How can you not hype it up? seriously let me show you a few of the images from this new coin image model and then we are going to see how to install it locally plus we will generate numerous images from different text prompts look at these images these have been generated from simple text prompt one thing they have been very clear about is that for text generation it works really well with chinese whereas it does a possible job with english and we are going to check it out once we get it installed locally now look at the image all of them are quite realistic they are vibrant vivid and what they are trying to do here is to remove that ai plastic look where you can immediately tell that the image has been generated with an ai and if you have been following my channel you see that i recently covered uh, black forest labs uh, new flux crea model which is also trying to do the same thing and i believe that this is a competitor of flux one dev or flux one crea which still hold the number one place in image generation from text but we will see if this coin image is able to remove that place of number one from flux model so let's get it installed I'm going to use this Ubuntu system and I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX H100 with 80 GPU of VRAM. If you're also looking to rent a GPU or VM on very affordable prices, you can find the link to their website in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs. Okay, first up, I'm going to install all the prerequisites, which include Torch, Transformers, Diffuser and lot of other stuff. And this is going to take a couple of minutes while that happens let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are our very good friends at iGent. iGent is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application empowering you to build manage and deploy a custom ai workforce that can turn your most complex workflows into automated tasks and while it installs that all the prerequisites let's talk a bit more about the architecture of this model because i believe these things are very important if you really want to understand these models so quen image combines a few smart components it uses quen 2.5 vl which is a multimodal llm to deeply understand text and image inputs and a fine-tuned variational auto encoder to preserve fine visual details especially small text Instead of relying on standard diffusion setups, it uses an MMDIT backbone with a clever new positional encoding scheme called as MS Rope, which handles text and image tokens more cleanly by treating text as diagonal 2D tokens. That avoids confusion between text and image positioning during generation. It also uses a dual encoding strategy for editing. So what it means in simple words is that one path captures semantic meaning via Quen 2.5 model, the other preserves pixel level detail via the variational autoencoder. So edits stay both meaningful and visually faithful. So this model can not only generate the images, but it can also edit the images, plus it can do the segmentation. And I don't think that image editing or segmentation model is there yet. So we will be testing it out with image generation. Plus, I'm also going to do another video where I will show you how you can get it installed with Comfy UI. So stay tuned for this one. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to use this diffuser and other libraries and I will put a Gradio uh, interface on top of it. 
meanwhile everything is now installed and we are good to go let me show you the code so this is a code which i am going to use i have simply um, put a gradio interface on top of the diffuser the code is in the repo too and we are just getting the model we are putting it onto a gpu i have given it some of the um, positive prompts and negative prompts plus some of the ratios and then there is a gradio interface on the top of that pipeline it's a very simple uh, gradio demo with some simple buttons and stuff okay so let me now take you back and run this app.py and the first time when you run it it downloads some model and you can see that there are four shards of it uh, for the first model and there, and there will be multiple models like text encoder variational auto encoder and stuff so let's wait and the gradio demo is now running on my local system let's access it in the browser at localhost port 7860 and there you go we have coin image with Fahad Mirza and I'm just going to make it slightly bigger so that people to see what is happening first up I'll just give it a very simple prompt a rabbit out of hat let's run this and let's quickly check the VRAM consumption in real time as the model is fully loaded onto the GPU so it is consuming quite a lot of RAM close to 57 gig of vram and it is fully loaded so this is a max it gets okay and there you go now look at this one and a very simple text prompt but we can tell a lot of things from this image so the prompt was simple yet it was whimsical and you can see that coin image has delivered photorealistic quality with remarkable fine detail preservation the model's dual conditioning design has successfully maintained semantic coherence and visual consistency and that is very much evident in the precise spatial relationship and natural lighting as you can see here and i can already tell that the enhanced vae or variational autoencoder its decoder has really shown through in the intricate fur texture of the rabbit as you can see and even look at the facial features look like a very realistic natural rabbit and i think this is where it has almost almost at par with the flux one model i would say i know it might be a bit controversial but i think it's not far behind if not already equal next up i'm asking it to do me a vintage bookstore window displayed with I'll just run through it. Handwritten Chinese calligraphy on aged parchment next to English poetry books. And there is a text which I am checking out. And look at this parchment. Look at this calligraphy. Looks really, really cool. One thing which it couldn't do was this book entry. So image spirit is there. No doubt about that. Chinese calligraphy is also there. There, is, there are few misses too. As you can see that this one is coming out of it. But other than that, looks really good. And especially look at the shadows and lighting. Okay, let's try out another one. Okay, in the next one, I'm checking out the architecture. So I'm asking it to, me, to do me a cross-section view of a modern sustainable house showing solar panels on the roof underground geothermal systems leveling walls with integrated LED glow lights and transparent floors revealing the foundation structure below. Let's check it out. And there you go. Looks mint. Look at this. Now, there are some things which can I can already see we can improve, but I think that can be improved with comfy ui more because that would offer us to adjust the seed the sampler scheduler but other than that look at the solar panels look at the whole architecture it has captured the spirit around foundation too next up let's check the action a professional ballet dancer midly frozen in time silk fabric flowing around her in zero gravity surrounded by floating water droplets that reflect rainbow prisms and all that stuff look at this this is good stuff let me make it bigger i think this is one of the best images 
it has generated everything looks so so perfect look at the hands too you know typical ballet style and feet too look at this frozen stuff i think this is one of the best okay let's try another one okay in this one a realistic photograph of a woman's barefoot resting on soft white sand at a beach natural skin tone with visible texture and subtle shadows ankle bracelet catching golden over sunlight because most of the models struggle with human foot and hand so let's check it out and there you go you can count the fingers and all that stuff but i think um, the shape of the foot is good there are still improvements needed because you can see that this is where it is struggling a bit at the top and interestingly enough the latest flux kriya model was also not that hugely great in terms of human feet let's check out another one i'll say romance hand with six fingers now historically these models are not good at creating hands and foot so what I have seen, you know, in the recent months that many image generation models have sort of, sort of post-trained the model with some hard-coded stuff where models are now able to generate the hand with the proper fingers. And you see, even if you ask them to do, you know, more than five fingers, they would still do the five fingers. So they have got it right somehow. The hand is correct. Very nice. And of course, there is still slight variation there which we can fix but it doesn't give you the fingers more than five which is interesting it is just like that strawberry question where it seems that model models were specifically were trained on that prompt anyway and finally i have tried out this uh, new prompt with english text and you can see that it has done that text wonderfully well with the bright sunlight and the human figure you two guys don't listen to me at least listen to her look at this smile how can you say no to that face so please like the video and subscribe to the channel as that helps a lot thank you for all the support stay tuned i will be covering this coin image more not only in terms of editing segmentation but also i will give you i will be giving you a free comfy ua workflow so stay tuned and if you want the code for this one uh, please buy me the coffee from the channel and then send me the screenshot or message from there. Happy to share it with you. Thank you very much.